Good morning everyone. So today is our second full day here in the Algarve. We're about to head to a place nearby called Ferragudo to check out some of the beaches there. We went there last year but we didn't really stay on the beach so yeah looking forward to that and looking forward to showing you some of the great beaches here in the Algarve. But before we head there, I just want to say a special thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and helping to support our travels. Surfshark is a VPN provider that allows you to have a private connection anywhere in the world, keeping your financial information and passwords safe from potential hackers. When buying tickets online, you can actually save some money by using Surfshark. Depending on where you are in the world, you will be charged different prices to other countries. So you can change the location of your device and check what the flight ticket would be in a different country and on some flights you're able to find cheaper prices. Another benefit for us is that some countries we go to actually block some websites that we access so by also being able to change our device's location we can unblock those websites. One thing we have been using a lot is to access all Netflix's libraries so different countries have access to different films and series but since we can change the location to any country we're able to access all Netflix's 15 libraries and Surfshark is the only only one that allows unlimited devices on one account so all mine and Carol's devices are hooked up to Surfshark so you can sign up in the link in the description there you'll have our code jumping places which gives you 83% off and also three months extra for free and they also have a month money back guarantee so if you decide you don't want to continue using it you can get all your money back So this is the entrance to the beach we've come to. This is called Praia Grande, which in English means big beach. So last time we came, we actually ate at this restaurant here. Looks like it's closed now, maybe because of COVID. Are you ready for the ice cold water, Carol? I'm not sure because it's been so long that it will need them with the good water. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it is today. Nice and empty, right? Yeah. I think my parents said this is always kind of quiet though. It's one of the quieter places in the Algarve. Yeah, and it's still beautiful. Yeah, it's still beautiful either way. But yeah, this is why it's called Big Beach Praia Grande, because it is very big. Carol's trying to get the courage to go in the ice cold water. Later. Later. Yeah, even the sand is really cold, so I think that's a sign. <laughs> All right, here it goes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's just like last time. All right, about five minutes later. <laughs> I've got used to it a bit more now. Now I'm gonna go all in. Really is ice cold though, not just cold. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't think Carol's coming in here. I remember last time that we came here and the Portuguese people were like, it's not even that cold in the Algarve. I was like, it bloody is. <sighs> yeah, it's like painful. Uh, I'm freezing. <laughs> so probably the coolest thing about this beach is that there is a castle or fort over there called Castelo de São João or the Fort of São João so yeah I haven't been to many beaches where you have that it's not open to the public I think an uh, artist owns it or something so you can't visit there but that was built sometime in the 17th century and it was basically to protect this area from pirates that were entering from the ocean over there and I think on the other side in Portimao they also have one that you can visit so 
we'll visit that another day. So a lot of these rocks usually have little tunnels underneath, like this one. A lot of the beaches in the Algarve have these rocks. Check out this one. You could walk through there, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. I'm not sure what kind of rock this is. Here's the end. Oh, check out that as well. Cool hole there. <laughs> Super unique, right? Yeah. We've never been to any beaches with anything like that before, right? No, only the Algarve. Yeah, only the Algarve has this, I think. just gonna go for a little walk to another beach that we've never been to I think we've just got to pass some cliffs and then yeah we'll get to it I think it's gonna be much smaller hopefully it's as nice as this one so my parents told us there's some stairs or something here to go up this cliff I don't know where they are though <laughs> you think they're over there I don't know there is a gate but I don't think we can go no is it private property I'm not sure let's see Man, probably nobody knows about these stairs. They're like yes, hidden. They're hidden. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. All right, check out these awesome views on this trail of Praia Grande. Not just Praia Grande, you also, you also can see the beach on the other side. So that's Praia da Rocha, one of the most famous ones here. You can also see the awesome cliffs that go all the way along the coastline. It's a big drop, right? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> gotta watch out. Yeah, I gotta be careful. The color of the ocean is nice, right? Yeah, from up here. Yeah. It's more like turquoise green. never ending viewpoints. So we have like a little beach down here, a little rocky one. And the one that we're trying to go to is this one right here, completely deserted. I think the walkway is on the other side. Also got a viewpoint here. So yeah, I might check that out first. It's just a bit thin here, but not too dangerous. Yeah, even better views of the beaches from this part. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, and empty. <laughs> yeah, and empty. Just these two with their dog. So this beach right here is called Praia da Infanta. 
no idea what Infanta means. I actually speak Portuguese by the way, but I speak the Brazilian version, which is similar, but we do pronounce things very different. And uh, yeah, there are even a few words that are different, but for the most part, yeah, it's identical. And we're just gonna stay here for a short time because we're gonna go into the old town. Here also has like an old school fishing village and we'll probably get a bite to eat there. And it's a very nice town, you'll see soon. heading into the old part of Ferragudo now and if you watched our last video we went to Alvo which was like an old fishing village and that's basically what Ferragudo is as well but yeah, if I remember correctly I think this one is nicer than Alvo. I think the nice street we went down last time was this one right? Oh, the I, colorful one. I took some pictures. Yeah. Yes yeah, so it's funny last time that we came here I don't think this part was that popular but now if you go on like Algarve Instagram pages, they always have pictures of this part here because you have like the nice colorful flowers and all the buildings are like old and colorful as well. And you have the like original cobbled roads. So yeah, this whole road is beautiful, right? Yeah, it's very cute. Yeah, super cute road. So I remember we actually took a picture of this part and now we see it on Instagram, but I don't think it was famous at that time. Of the the tiled designs here as well that you see in a lot of the buildings. Yeah, so we came to this church last time. I think we got the name here. Igreja Matriz de Ferragudo, main church of Ferragudo. Founded in 1520, suffered great damages due to the earthquake of 1755 and was then renovated with other features. Similar style to all the old churches here. They always look cool like this. It's not open though. So the last time we came, it also wasn't open, so. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's not open for tourism. From here, you also get cool, cool views of the, the river and part of the beach here. And even going inland, you can see there's still other beaches on the other side of the river here. So yeah, there's like beaches all along. There we got Mr. Seagull. Look at this cute little house as well. So a lot of them have like the tiles with the names on. So Casa Lila. And then this Casa is Amishera. yeah Casa Amishera. Wow, look how cool this one looks as well. The blue and the yellow borders. Familia Custodius. You got a nice view of all the the roofs of the other ones here. We're on a hillside, so yeah, you kind of have all these little walkways going down as well everywhere. Yeah, so now we're on like the main touristy street. Got the hippie looking clothes. <laughs> Looks pretty cool though. So the restaurant we've come to is called Restaurante Port Aradi. And it's quite busy. This is where everybody's at. Everybody getting the food. Mainly all foreigners. And we're gonna get this menu three, so nine euros fifty. And you can get a main dish with like fish with a drink included. There's other deals though, like menu two, 
So that's where the entry or starter or a dessert. So check it out. I got a nice big fish. So this is called Hobalo, boiled potato, salad. I also got a beer as well, Portuguese beer. Carol's looks super interesting, look at that. Fish, it's potatoes, tomato. And a lot of cheese. Yeah, cheese. That looks delicious though. Mm -hmm. All right, get the olive oil on it. It's vinegar. Oh, it's vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> so I destroyed my plate, it was absolutely delicious. And so is Carol's, I've never had that before, but that tastes amazing. Very cheesy. It's like yeah, very cheesy. Yeah, I love it. You've eaten that before with fish? No, first time. It's good though, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the flies. <laughs> the flies approve also. Yeah, they like it too. Really does taste great though. <laughs> the end of this video we're just waiting now for my dad to pick us up from here and then yeah we're just gonna head back and rest for the for the rest of the day rest for the rest of the day <laughs> so if you like this video just drop a like to support us as always subscribe to like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>